Say goodbye to sardines. Five diseases that can't tolerate this fish. Imagine this, you're preparing a quick, healthy meal for yourself, and you reach for a can of sardines, thinking you're making a smart choice. But soon after eating, you start feeling bloated, uneasy, and suddenly regretful. You've heard sardines are nutritious, but what if they're actually contributing to some underlying health problems? Did you know that consuming sardines can exacerbate certain health conditions? Estudies from the National Institutes of Health show that for people with gout, kidney disease, or high blood pressure, sardines could trigger severe flare-ups due to their high purine content, which increases uric acid levels, and their sodium content, which can elevate blood pressure. That's why in today's video, we're going to reveal the hidden risks associated with sardines and discuss five diseases that simply can't tolerate this fish. You'll learn why these seemingly harmless little fish could be doing more harm than good, especially if you or a loved one suffers from one of these conditions. Ready to make smarter food choices? Let's explore these crucial facts together. Have sardines been part of your diet? Share your experiences in the comments below. 1. Gout Dear friends, gout is a condition that many of us may have heard of or even experienced firsthand. If you or a loved one is dealing with gout, paying close attention to your diet is essential, and one particular food to watch out for is sardines. Why is that? It all has to do with a substance called purines, which sardines contain in high amounts. When we consume foods rich in purines, our bodies metabolize them into uric acid. According to the American College of Rheumatology, high levels of uric acid in the blood are a primary cause of gout. When uric acid levels become too high, they can crystallize into small, sharp particles that deposit in the joints, causing incredibly painful flare-ups, known as acute gout attacks. Imagine being struck by a gout attack, it feels like someone is hammering your joints, an excruciating pain that nobody wants to endure. These flare-ups can last for days, even weeks, severely limiting mobility and significantly affecting one's quality of life. Therefore, for those suffering from gout, it is crucial to avoid or limit the intake of purine-rich foods like sardines. Instead, you might opt for fish with lower purine content, such as salmon or tuna. However, making food swaps isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Always consult with your doctor before making any dietary changes. Your doctor can help you weigh the pros and cons of different foods based on your specific health needs. Moreover, maintaining a healthy and balanced lifestyle is essential in managing gout effectively. This includes making smart food choices, staying hydrated, maintaining a healthy weight, and engaging in regular physical activity. Drinking enough water helps your body eliminate uric acid more efficiently, while keeping your weight in check reduces pressure on your joints and helps your body avoid producing excess uric acid. In summary, if you or a loved one suffers from gout, be mindful of the foods you eat daily. While sardines are nutritious, for someone with gout, they are best avoided. Choose healthier alternatives and don't forget to visit your doctor regularly for the most accurate advice. 2. People with kidney stones If you or someone you care about is dealing with kidney stones, it might be wise to think twice before adding sardines to your daily diet. Why? Let's dive in and find out. First off, consuming sardines could be a cause for concern for those with kidney stones, much like how it impacts individuals with gout. Sardines are rich in purines, a substance that breaks down into uric acid in the body. Excess uric acid not only triggers painful gout attacks but can also crystallize into uric acid stones in the kidneys. According to the National Kidney Foundation, although most kidney stones are made of calcium oxalate, uric acid stones also make up a significant portion and are worth noting. But that's not all. Sardines, especially canned sardines, often contain high levels of sodium. And if you think sodium only affects blood pressure, think again. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consuming too much sodium can increase the amount of calcium in the urine, a direct factor in the formation of calcium stones. Calcium stones are, in fact, the most common type of kidney stone and cause a lot of discomfort for sufferers. Imagine, if you will, a tiny, hard, and sharp kidney stone moving through your urinary tract. It's a pain so intense that it's often unbearable, leading to emergency hospital visits. 
So, if you've had kidney stones before or are at high risk for developing them, cutting back on sardines might be a smart choice. Instead of sardines, you might opt for other types of fish that are lower in sodium. More importantly, make sure to drink plenty of water. According to the American Urological Association, keeping your body well hydrated is one of the most effective ways to prevent kidney stones. When your body is well hydrated, your kidneys can filter and excrete more efficiently, reducing the risk of minerals crystallizing and forming stones. Always remember, staying hydrated is not only good for your kidneys but for your overall health as well. Next, there is another group of people who need to be careful with this fish. These are people who have diseases related to two important organs in the body, one that filters toxins and one that produces urine. Can you guess which organs they are? 3. People with liver and kidney disease. If you or your loved ones are dealing with liver or kidney problems, it's crucial to carefully consider your food choices, especially sardines. Have you ever wondered why sardines may not be suitable for those with liver and kidney issues? Let's explore this together. Sardines are incredibly nutritious, particularly in terms of protein. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, just 85 grams, about 3 ounces, of sardines can provide around 20 grams of protein. This is a substantial amount, and protein plays a vital role in maintaining energy and health. For those with healthy liver and kidneys, the protein from sardines is a fantastic source of nutrition that helps with recovery and muscle growth. However, if you are suffering from liver or kidney diseases, consuming too much protein can present serious risks. Keep in mind that the liver and kidneys are crucial organs for metabolizing and eliminating waste products from protein digestion. The liver helps break down protein into nutrients needed by the body, while the kidneys filter out waste products through urine. When liver or kidney function is compromised, excessive protein intake can overwhelm these organs, making it harder for the body to process these substances. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition highlights that excessive protein intake in individuals with kidney disease can strain the kidneys, leading to faster deterioration in kidney function. This could worsen the condition, making it harder for the body to filter blood and remove waste effectively. For those with liver disease, the situation can be just as concerning. When the liver cannot efficiently process protein, ammonia levels in the blood can rise. According to the American Liver Foundation, this increase can lead to uncomfortable symptoms such as confusion, fatigue, and in severe cases, even coma. Therefore, if you are dealing with liver or kidney problems, it's best to limit your intake of sardines and other high-protein foods. Instead of sardines, you might consider fish with lower protein content such as tilapia or cod. You may also explore plant-based protein sources like beans, seeds, and whole grains, as these are often easier to digest and put less strain on the liver and kidneys. The most important thing is to listen to your body and consult with a doctor or nutritionist before making any significant dietary changes. Each person's health condition is different, and protein consumption should be adjusted accordingly to ensure your body is always protected and healthy. Remember, your health comes first. Did you know that there is another group of people who should be extra careful with sardines? They are the ones for whom even a small piece of the fish can cause a dangerous reaction. Can you guess who they are? 4. People allergic to seafood. Seafood allergies are no small matter, especially for older adults. This is one of the most common types of food allergies, and what's particularly concerning is that it can develop at any time, even if you've eaten seafood many times before without any issues. According to the American Academy of Allergy, seafood allergies can affect people at any age. This means that even if you've been safe with seafood for years, there's no guarantee that you won't develop an allergy in the future. The symptoms of a seafood allergy can vary widely, ranging from mild to severe. In milder cases, you might experience symptoms like rashes or itching. However, some people may encounter more severe reactions such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the lips and tongue, and in extreme cases, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention as it can be life-threatening. For older adults, recognizing and responding promptly to the signs of a seafood allergy is crucial. If you know you're allergic to any type of seafood, always be cautious when selecting food, especially sardines. 
sardines, like many other types of seafood, can trigger severe allergic reactions if you happen to be allergic to them. Furthermore, there are a few things to keep in mind if you start experiencing unusual symptoms after eating seafood. Don't dismiss it just because you've never had an allergy before. Your body can change over time, and allergies can develop unexpectedly. If you notice any strange symptoms such as difficulty breathing, itching, or swelling after eating sardines or any other seafood, stop eating immediately and seek medical assistance. Additionally, for those who are already aware of their seafood allergy, avoiding contact with allergenic foods is vital. Carefully read product labels, inquire about dish ingredients when dining out, and always carry allergy medication like epinephrine if prescribed by your doctor. This will not only help you avoid allergic reactions but also allow you to enjoy meals with confidence, free from the worry of potential risks. Seafood allergies are not something to be taken lightly, especially as we age. Always pay attention to your health, and don't hesitate to seek medical help when necessary. Awareness and caution regarding seafood allergies can help you and your family live healthier and safer lives. Did you think we'd covered all the people who should be careful with sardines? Actually, there are a few other important things to keep in mind when eating this fish. 5. Some other notes when eating sardines. First, let's talk about those of you who are struggling with high blood pressure. Do you know why sardines might be a concern for them? That's because canned sardines often contain a high amount of sodium. According to the American Heart Association, consuming too much sodium can increase your blood pressure, which can increase your risk of heart disease. So if you're trying to control your blood pressure, be careful with canned sardines. You can choose fresh sardines or canned ones that say, low sodium, on the label. And don't forget to check with your doctor about how much sodium is appropriate for your diet. What about expectant and breastfeeding mothers? Did you know that they need to be careful with sardines, too? Although sardines are packed with nutrients that are beneficial for fetal and infant development, like omega-3s and protein, they can also contain small amounts of mercury. Sardines are rich in omega-3s, especially DHA, which is extremely important for fetal and infant brain development. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, adequate DHA intake during pregnancy can improve a child's cognitive and visual abilities. However, like many other fish, sardines can contain mercury, a toxin that can harm a fetus's developing nervous system. Fortunately, Sardines generally contain less mercury than larger fish like tuna or swordfish. Before we wrap things up, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This way, you'll never miss any of our life-changing health tips and advice. In summary, neglecting the advice shared in this video could have serious consequences for your health. Ignoring these simple tips may expose you to conditions that could cause irreversible damage to your body, leading to chronic illness. When it comes to your health, waiting could mean suffering, and no doctor will be able to reverse the damage if you continue down the same path. It's time to take control of your future by making the right decisions now. The beauty of these tips is that they're not just effective, they're incredibly easy to implement into your daily life. By following these simple steps, you can protect yourself from serious diseases and start living a healthier, happier life. It's your choice, either follow the advice and thrive, or continue down a path where not even the best doctors can save you from the consequences of inaction. So now, it's time for you to make a decision. You can choose to embrace these tips and protect your health, or you can ignore them and face the possibility of living with disease. The choice is yours, what will you decide? While you're waiting for our next video, take a look at the four videos on your screen. They're packed with valuable information to help you take control of your health. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks again for being with us until the end. Your health is our priority, and we're here to help you live your best life. See you next time.